UN Deputy Secretary General Amina Mohamed called the trip the first of its kind, saying never before had the UN undertaken a mission to explore the role of women in peace, security and development. She said the situation in the Democratic Republic of the Congo remains complex and volatile, while in Nigeria she was able to spend time with some of the almost 300 girls who were kidnapped by Boko Haram militants from Chibok in 2014. Since then, more than half have been released or have escaped. In Nigeria, we were moved by our meeting with the Chibok girls, facilitated by the Honorable Minister of Women's Affairs. Their remarkable strength as survivors rather than victims is inspiring. Many are receiving an education and psychosocial support to prepare them for reintegration. But thousands of other young women who have been abducted and returned, subjected to sexual violence and affected by conflict in other ways, are still yet to receive adequate support. The mission was headed up by four African women from the United Nations and the African Union. Mohamed said the DRC and Nigeria were chosen as they both have disarmingly low levels of women in politics or government, but also because both are experiencing conflicts where there are extremely high levels of sexual violence and abuse deliberately targeting women and girls. The changing nature of conflict has demonstrated alarming challenges such as worsening humanitarian situation, already referred by the, the, the Deputy Secretary General, and increased violence extremism. Dire humanitarian challenges as ex experienced in the northeast of Nigeria and east and Kasai uh, regions of DRC significantly impact the well-being of communities, particularly of women and girls. Amina Mohamed said sexual violence, forced marriage, using women as suicide bombers, all of this had to stop. But she noted that the international community needed to better understand the role of women in peace and development if the UN and the AU are to improve empowerment of women and girls in these nations. Nick Harper, CGTN, New York.